The first known map of the night sky has been found hidden in medieval parchment. The fabled star catalog by ancient Greek astronomer Hipparchus had been feared lost. Researchers thought they were analyzing a seemingly bland parchment from a monastery in Egypt. But as it turns out, they had uncovered a real treasure. You see, hidden under the Christian texts lay one of the most famous astronomical artifacts in the world. Now, over 2,100 years ago, the ancient Greek astronomer Hipparchus made a catalog of the night sky. Hipparchus was also a geographer and mathematician, and he was already famous for his discovery of the precession of the equinoxes. Well, rediscovery. His approach was remarkably scientific, and with mathematical techniques acquired from Greek and Babylonian scholars, he made many valuable observations. He even produced the first quantitative and accurate model for the motion of the sun and the moon. Unsurprisingly, for his many contributions, Hipparchus is regarded by many as the father of astronomy. But perhaps his most remarkable contribution is the compilation of the first comprehensive star catalog of the Western world. Unfortunately, Hipparchus's mythical star catalog seemed impossible to find. Scholars have been looking for it for centuries, and it was gone for so long that many thought it was forever lost. But a breakthrough came in 2012, when a student called Jamie Clare found something weird behind the lettering of a Christian manuscript. Clare noticed a famous star origin myth in Greek that was often attributed to Eratosthenes, an astronomer and chief librarian at the Library of Alexandria. He informed his supervisors, biblical scholar Peter Williams, and Williams thought it was interesting, but didn't give it all that much thought. A few years later, however, in 2017, a multispectral scan of the document revealed nine folios of pages containing a text that appeared to have been written over. Now, this isn't all that unusual because parchment was, for centuries, a very scarce commodity, and it was common for parchment pieces to be reused. Now, during the pandemic, Williams gave the results another look. In addition to a famous 3rd century BC poem called Phenomenon that describes Greek constellations, and the Eratosthenes myth, he noticed another weird part. So he sent the results to science historian Victor Geisenberg at the French National Scientific Research Center in Paris. And as soon as Geisenberg looked at it, he knew it was something special. It was very exciting from the very beginning, says Geisenberg, and it was immediately clear we had star coordinates. Now, the translated paragraph specifically reads, Corona Borealis, lying in the northern hemisphere, in length spans nine degrees, one quarter, from the first degree of Scorpius to ten degrees, one quarter, eight, in the same zodiacal sign. In breadth, it spans six degrees, three quarter, from 49 degrees, from the North Pole to 55 degrees, three quarter, and so on. This is exactly the type of observation you'd expect Hipparchus to make. But at this point, not wanting to jump to conclusions, researchers calculated at what point in history the star catalog was made. Now this can be done simply by calculating the Earth's precession which causes the star positions to drift year after year. And after doing this, they found that the coordinates of the stars match the precession expected at our planet around 129 BCE. This would be when 
Hipparchus was alive. Now, there is no way to be 100% certain that this is indeed Hipparchus's text. But in addition to the timeline fitting, researchers note the precision of the measurements and the idiosyncratic way in which some of the data is explained. Basically, everything here points to Hipparchus. And we will leave you links to the paper, New Evidence for Hipparchus's Star Catalog Revealed by Multispectral Imaging. Well, and a little bit of calculating the precession of the equinoxes. I hope you got something out of the video. Certainly a boom to knowledge. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. We love you.